sad and love songs never out of day. I think whenever you do a Shakespeare show, you have to do something different with it than it's been done or people won't really listen. You know, there has to be something done for the audience where the show feels new. If someone hates Shakespeare, they should come and see this and give it a shot because I think our production is muscular. I think it's playful. It's fun to watch and it's set in the 50s. So you get fun fashion. <laughs> you get the, the times, the set. You get all of this and you get this language told by people who love the language. There are many songs, almost more music than most people realize is in the play and figures as a part of the story, like even within scenes, a character sings something for a dramatic purpose. So you'll see many songs used in many different ways through the play. One of the big questions it asks is, what does it mean to love somebody? What does it mean to fall in love? I play Olivia Belch. She loves hard. Uh, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She's just dealing with the passing of her brother. And right before that, she lost her father. And so she's now facing the complications of being the head of the household. I really love working with my ladies in waiting. Um, we're like a troop, we're like an army. They have always got my back and it's really fun to work off of them. I play Sebastian. He's the brother of, of the lead, Viola. Uh, he has recently been in a shipwreck along with his sister. He's a very prideful person. He's very violent. I play Viola, um, who dresses up as Cesario, so I get to play two different characters. She's been washed up in a completely new country and doesn't know anyone and is having to work for the very man that she's in love with. And she has to woo the woman that he loves. So she has a lot of emotions happening on top of the fact that she's lost her twin brother. I don't realize that uh, Cesario is actually Viola, and the person I'm really in love with or into is the male version of her, which is her twin brother, Sebastian. And I don't learn that until the end. <laughs> it, the show is a lot about what happens when people's assumptions oh, go as far as they so possibly so can sweet. towards getting them in trouble, and then how the mess that that leaves for everybody to, to clean up. I love this cast. It is a uh a crew of undergraduates, of graduate students, and of different levels of experience, and it's been beautiful to watch them. They're a great team, a great group of humans. As time goes by.